Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to OCVarsity.com. It's time to talk about what's going on in this 2010 football season. And we're going to start on this first gridiron show by talking about the big games coming up. We've got three big ones on the uh, schedule, guys. Uh, Steve Fryer here with Dan Albano and Carlos Arias once again. Let's start out with the Thursday game, and that is Servite versus Oceanside. And both these teams won state championships and section championships uh, last year. They both come in with a lot of good starting, uh, returning guys, but they also have some question marks like everybody does this time of year. Dan, what's your analysis of this game? Who's going to win it? I like the Friars. They're uh, number one team in uh, Orange County. And yeah. uh, it's, but there's, you know, like you said, question marks. Uh, biggest question mark, I think, for Servite is going to be Cody Pittman, the junior quarterback, taking over for Cody Fajardo, you know, our player of the year last year. That's going to be very interesting, but uh, I think uh, Servite's going to be plenty motivated for this game. Uh, Oceanside, a uh, 39 game unbeaten streak, longest in the state of California. And uh, two uh, good defensive uh, teams, but I think Servite's going to get the victory uh, opening up. Okay, Carlos, what do you say? Well, apparently the New Orleans Saints weren't available, so Servite went with Oceanside, a defending state champion. Yeah. Um, what the heck is going on with Servite, man? I mean, every game in the preseason, then the Trinity League. I mean, these guys are like maniacs. I mean, yeah. uh, what, did they practice on like a bed of nails? Well, they have What's a, going on over they there? They have like, the, what is their statement over there? Anybody, any place, any time. So I think they're living up to it. Carlos, what do you think? Who's going to win this game? Survey coming up? Well, uh, the big thing about uh, Oceanside, they got hit hard by graduation. Yeah. Um, but that's a team that's won six straight CIF San Diego section titles. Right. Obviously, they know how to, you know, keep reloading. Sure. But uh, I, I'm still thinking Survey. I mean, Survey's yeah. a power man. They would have won Division One last year. Yeah, and we're hearing a couple little things, Dan, about maybe an injury here or there, you know, maybe to Oceanside guys, and who knows how Servite. I think they came out of their scrimmage okay from when I was told. They kind of held a couple guys back, so I think they're going to be okay. So let's go on to the next game. This is a Friday night game. This is a beautiful-looking game. It's La Habra against Orange Lutheran at Glover Stadium, and as everybody knows, La Habra's been ramping up their non-league schedule every year, and this mm -hmm. year taking on a couple Trinity League teams, Servite in a couple weeks, and, and then Orange Lutheran on Friday at Glover Stadium. Uh, is La Habra the seventh member of the Trinity League? I, I think they're trying to get in there, okay. but this is, <laughs> yeah, this really. is what I, what, what, the reason I got to pick La Habra is because, you know, when I did the top ten, the preseason top ten, I know you guys all had input, but I didn't really listen to you because I'm going to get blamed for it no matter what. So, anyway, I had La Habra at five, uh, I think, and, and, and Olu at, at six. And uh, so, therefore, I got to say, La Habra's going to win. Dan? Yeah, La Habra's going to be tough this year. They yeah. really are, especially on offense. I mean, Cody Clements is back, their quarterback, going to he's committed to Washington State. Yeah. He made a lot of improvements, uh, really developed very well in the summer. And he's got receivers, he's got a uh, veteran receiver uh, group. He's got a great receiver, uh, junior, Brett Bardone, uh, Barloni. And uh, they, have, they just have their offense down. They've got great timing. They get, ball, they get rid of the ball quick. And I think they're going to be a powerhouse. And I think that's right. a tough matchup, you know, first game of the season for La Habra's defense. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think La Habra's going to keep it close. I mean, uh, Orange Lutheran's keep it close, but sure. I like La Habra. Yeah, very good. Carlos, what do you think? Uh, one other thing to remember, uh, uh, La Habra lost Juice Cazada, Josh yeah, Cazada, yeah. he's at yeah. BYU. But uh, they got a really talented running back there, Ahmad Avery. Sure. Right. Last year when, when Juice was a little hurt, he got in one game, ran for 200 yards, yeah. three touchdowns. Right. I think the running game's going to be all right, too. Um, okay. The other thing we just found out is uh, Mike Markovsky is going to be the starting quarterback for uh, Orange Lutheran. Right. Um, he was in a, a competition with uh, uh, Livingston. Livingston Clark, Clark, Livingston, yeah. Clark Livingston. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, me too. I put uh, La Habra in front of Orange Lutheran. Very good. Um, I, I just really like that team. I think they are, you know, three-time defending champs. They are looking to take on anybody the Servite style of, you know, Let's get it on. Yeah, it's so, very, I, mean, very, very nice I, I love that. that. I love that. We love that sort of stuff. Here's the third game coming up, and this is a really good game on Saturday at Santa Ana Stadium, and that's uh, Carson against Modern Day. Uh, Carson was 10-3 and three last year, got to uh, the semifinals, I think, in the L.A. City Section Major Division Championship there, and uh, so that's a really good team. Always a lot of skillful athletes, very quick team against Modern Day, and we're talking about skillful athletes. Man, that passing combination. I don't know if anybody can handle those guys, Dan. Yeah, Max Wittick quarterback going yeah. to USC commit and uh, Victor Blackwell it's going to be one of the better combinations we've seen in Orange County you know passing and catching the ball in a long time you know Carson's gonna be interesting they got a new coach Elijah Sante um, so in some Orange County uh, fans should recognize that coach because he was he was at LA Jordan um, last year and they play a lot of Orange County teams yes. including modern day last year in the non-league mm -hmm. season um, modern day defeated LA Jordan 23-20 
And uh, I saw L.A. Jordan play last year, and they're a really unconventional offense. You know, they really try to put their uh, they really, they really try to put their athletes in uh, on, in positions to be effective on offense. And I think yeah. that's what uh, Carson could be doing. They could be a lot of motion, a lot of unconventional stuff out of uh, Carson. You know, I, Carlos, the thing that I always think about is when I look at a team with a great passing attack like we know Modern is going to have. They also have Cedric Hill, another good receiver, Corbin Anderson, good mm -hmm. running back as well. The thing that I always think about when I see these sort of passing teams is it's very, very hard for a high school team to prepare for a good passing team because most high school teams can't throw the ball like that. It's hard to replicate that in practice. Yeah. I think it gives Modern Day a huge advantage. And, and how many city section teams that Carson played are going to be throwing the, the ball Absolutely. like that at all? I mean, most of them are going to be running teams primarily. Um, the, the one concern I have for modern day is, uh, is this line, this offensive line, right. going to be able to protect them, yeah. uh, protect uh, Max? Right. If uh, they can't give me time, it doesn't matter, you know, how good Max and Victor are, you know, that's going to be the, the big yeah. thing. Will these guys step up? I get the feeling they will, but, you know, that's the question mark. All right, yeah. so wrap it up really quick. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, let's go to Orange Luth and La Habra. We're all going to La Habra. Right. Okay, modern day Carson. I'm going Got with the Monarchs. Indy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what, what are we going to agree on everything? Yeah. And then, uh, and then <laughs> who's going to win the Super Bowl? And then the Thursday game at Servite Oceanside. We're all going to Servite, right? Yeah. Yeah. This oh, is, man. This is no fun. Well, anyway, <laughs> we'll have a lot of other fun going on at, here at OCVarsity.com. All the league previews are there at the website at OCVarsity.com. Uh, we're going to be doing these videos, you know, every uh, Wednesday. So look forward to those two. And so much more going on at OCVarsity.com. It's the first week of the uh, football season. We're ready to go. Here at OCVarsity.com, we've got you covered.